How's it going everybody? Cameron here is Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video Sunday, September 26th. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Been pretty busy myself. I'm not going to get into specifics, but I've been pretty busy. Got today off, so I'm going to pump out a video here and then maybe pump out another video later. So oh, how about those fights last night? Man, oh man. It's tough to watch Diaz like that. Not in prime physical shape. He looked a little bit out of shape. And uh, he kind of quit at the end there, verbally verbally quit. Hard to watch, hard to watch. So, anyways, I want to talk about this. Now, I heard about this on the radio of all places yesterday. So, I finally had the chance to check out the new Xbox browser on the Xbox One. Uh, I guess you'd call it Microsoft Edge. I don't use Microsoft Edge as my main browser, uh, at least on my PC. I'm old school. I use Firefox still. That being said, uh, it's funny, you know, the Internet Explorer, or sorry, should I say <laughs> Microsoft Explorer, uh, used to be the main browser on the 360, and I think at one point maybe even on the Xbox One when it first launched. Uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't bad. You could go on there and you could... Uh, you know, stream movies, you could Google things. It worked very much like a browser on a computer, but it had its limitations, didn't support extensions, etc. And then uh, Microsoft updated their browser several years ago. They basically replaced Explorer with Edge. And I don't know about you guys, but like lately, I don't know, the last year and a half, two years, the, the Edge browser on my Xbox One, I say that because I don't have a series console yet, uh, the browser hasn't been, it's just not good. Like it's just a lot of the, uh, embedded videos on certain websites that I would go on. <laughs> no, not just porn. Relax. <laughs> Wouldn't play, uh, through the edge browser on the, uh, on the Xbox one. It was, it was quite frustrating. Uh, again, not comparable to a, a real browser on a, uh, on a computer. Well, that's all sort of changed here over the last couple of days. Microsoft has finally updated the Microsoft Edge browser. Now, I'm reading this off of an article uh, from Engadget, and I'll leave a link uh, in the pinned comment if you want to check out this. So there's a new, they call it a Chrome, Chrome, Chromium. I can't even pronounce that. Chromium? <laughs> Based Edge browser for the Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One console. So I think that means uh, it's, a, it's an Edge browser that's tailored to uh, a lot of the Google services. So what's interesting to me, though, uh, I guess the Xbox One and the series consoles have already had keyboard and mouse support. I didn't know that. But the browser enhances the keyboard and mouse support as well. So this is quite interesting. You know, if you had a wireless keyboard, which I think most people do these days, excluding myself, you know, if you've got your Xbox console, uh, in your living room, as an, as an example, a lot of people these days, uh, a lot of companies, I should say, a lot of businesses, uh, a lot of the uh, systems and portals they use uh, are web-based, where you would go on to a portal, log in, etc. So you could, theoretically, you, you could conduct some actual business using your Xbox console, just like you would with a computer uh, again, provided you've got the mouse and keyboard because it's just not going to do it justice using the controller. Uh, so I had the chance to check this out this morning. Uh, I checked out the new Edge browser. And uh, guys, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I, I went on mo several websites that I had tried to go on in the past that just weren't functioning the way they should be on the Xbox. And it's coming up just like it would on your PC or on your laptop or on your on your smartphone as well. So apparently this this Engadget article mentions that there's Google Stadia support as well. I don't know why that's even a talking point because uh, last time I checked, I thought the Google Stadia was just deep, dead in the water at this point. But apparently, I don't know, it's compatible with this new browser on the Xbox, on the Xbox One in the series console. So yeah, it's it's got support for things like Reddit, Discord. It's it's pretty good. So for me, in my opinion, uh, I guess you know people like to call me an Xbox fanboy, but I, I you know you don't have. I, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you have a browser on the PlayStation? 
And if so, what are you what are you able to use? I'm not sure on that. Maybe somebody could let me know in the comments. Is it Google Chrome? Are you able to do that? Uh, this is this is a big deal for the Xbox console. This is a nice feature to have, especially like I said, if you've got the mouse and uh, and keyboard. So the jury's out whether or not I'll get a mouse and keyboard for my Xbox One. I don't know. It kind of piqued my interest, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, you, you could download. Uh, again, not talking about the browser here, but you know some of those point-and-click adventure games, and uh, and be able to use your mouse with it. It'd be a lot easier to play Broken Sword Five as an example, or the new uh, Beyond a Steel Sky uh, with the mouse than it would be with your Xbox controller. So, or even be able to play. I don't know if it's possible. I have to look into it. Play, play a first-person shooter with the mouse and keyboard using your Xbox. It's possibilities are, are endless. So, did you guys know about the new Edge browser? The update to the browser. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, are you indifferent towards this, or uh, do you like the fact that they've updated it so that it runs pretty pretty much on par with the Edge browser, like you would on your PC or on your laptop? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, I'll be back with a video later on today. And uh, until next time, have a good weekend.